Thank you for tuning in to H.R. Revival for Soul is the hour for revival. I'm brother in the Lord, brother H.R. Father, hide me behind the cross. I've been none of me, but all of you in Jesus' name. Spit that this up to clay, let everybody leave here saying, I got just what I wanted from the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Turn with me to the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God is not a man that he should lie nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said it and will he not do it? Or has he spoken it and he will not make it good? Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus, amen. Behold, I received a command to bless and he has blessed and I cannot reverse it. He says, I, he has blessed it and I cannot reverse it. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus, amen. Balaam, the backslid prophet, said, I can't curse what God has blessed because I've already had an encounter and I've seen the angel in the way of the ass. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen, thank you, Jesus. God's got to put an angel in the way of that jackass mentality that you've been living in and stop you before you make a terrible mistake in your life. Because why? Because God cannot lie. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. God cannot lie. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Notice it said, showed. <clears throat> Notice it said, should lie. It said, he's not a man that he should lie. Some in this world today, living in this life, in their humanity, with their inequality, with their social, political, religious, and racial differences, mostly political, have done one thing. They have begun to lie. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. But let me tell you something. People do cheat in this world. They still in lie. And for a bunch of wealth and what it can buy. But don't they know on that judgment day that their silver and gold is going to pass away? Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. That's a, a old line from a Hank Williams Sr. song. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. And then he said, I'd rather be in a deep, dark grave and know my poor soul was saved than to live in this world in a house of gold than to, to, than to deny my God and lose my soul. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. What in the world is going on in the world today that we would consider even being around people who lie and cheat and steal? The Bible said we are going to have no part with those who are liars. Jesus even said in Revelation, he said, you have judged those. We're supposed to judge by fruit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. He said, you have judged in your spirit. He said, you have judged those who call themselves apostles and you have found them liars. For the spirit of truth lives within us. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So today's message is called God Cannot Lie. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. I love the power of God moving on this message. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Notice it said he should not lie. <clears throat> God don't lie. But when it looks like his word didn't come to pass, even though it, it will always come to pass, Thank you, Holy Ghost, and do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. God is not slack concerning his promises, and I prophesy that by the Holy Ghost to somebody who needed to hear that. God is not slack concerning his promises to you, but God shall deliver you. God shall heal that person you've been praying for. I hear the Lord say, for he promised life and not death over that person who you've been praying for. I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, thank you, Holy Ghost, and do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. God cannot lie. Thank you, Holy Ghost, and do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost, do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. God cannot lie, but God can reverse the decision, even when he brings forth. Thank you, Holy Ghost, do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Do you know Paul said it best by the Holy Ghost? He said, let every man be a liar. But let God be true. Romans 3 and 4. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. He is the spirit of truth. John 16, 13. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. And he said he would lead you into all truth. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Let me explain this. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Don't blame people for lying. Because let me explain to you something. It's a spirit in them. And I'm going to give that biblically in a minute to you. 
where it's actually a spirit that they're operating under. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. God cannot lie because he's the spirit of truth. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. <coughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. But thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. He is a person and not a an action. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. You will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. John 8, 32. And then he said, For if the Son will make you free, you will be free indeed. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Who's the Son? Jesus Christ. He is the Son of God. God made manifest in our lives in flesh. Made man of flesh, made he came in flesh to be manifest. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. I believe that Christ came in the flesh. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. But he said in John 8, 32, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. But do you want to know the truth? Jack Nicholson, I love what he said. He said, you want the truth, you can't handle the truth. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. If you can't laugh in God, friend, you're already dead. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. But do you want to know the truth? Some people are trying to make God out to be a liar. He said, if you say you have not sinned in your life, you make God out to be a liar. First John 1 John 1.10, we have all fallen short of the glory of God. I love what my spiritual mother and I was talking about, that, you know, for all have, but he said, I press on toward the mark of the high calling. I press on toward it. He didn't say he ever made the mark until after he got to heaven, friends. Nobody, until after we get to heaven, nobody's really made the mark. Okay, I mean, we all missed. Some point in our lives, we are going to fall. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. But if our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart. And if we do fall, we have an advocate with the Father. All we got to do is stand up in faith and get back up in the glory of God and walk it out. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Don't let your deceiving heart deceive you out of your own destiny. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. But don't, don't blame people who lie, who say they love you and then leave you, who say that they'll never talk bad about you and then they go around talking evil about you. Let me explain this to you. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. It's not them, it's the Spirit in them. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. What do I mean? About it's a spirit in them. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. But let me explain something to you. We fight against the spiritual warfare through the blood that was shed through the flesh of Jesus Christ. We literally fight by the power of the blood. And through his blood, we have already overcome. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. I bless the power of God. Thank you, Lord. So if we wrestle not against flesh and blood and the spirit and the flesh war against each other, what are we fighting? We are fighting spiritual things in the spirit. That's why we're to try the spirit by the spirit to see it's a, if it's of God. We're to put every spirit on trial by the power of the Holy Ghost. God cannot lie. And I'm moving around this bed because that's all I got. I gave all my furniture away. So I've got just this bed left until the night. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Do you know, friends, that God promised to be with us always, even to the end of the world? We do not leave, God does not leave us. We leave God a lot of times. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The truth is a person. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. But do you want to know the truth as a person? Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you have enough intestinal fortitude? Do you have enough guts to know God as God? Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Let me say this. All liars will have their place in the lake of fire. Revelation 
21 and 8. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. People want to preach grace, but what about Ananias and Sapphira who lied to the Holy Ghost and dropped dead in the meeting? Acts 5, 3 through 7, the Bible said that they lied against the Holy Ghost. Peter said, why has the enemy deceived you to lie to the Holy Ghost? And the Bible said they dropped dead right there and fear fell upon the entire congregation. I believe soon enough we're going to see the same thing happening as in, in the book of Acts where there's liars in the pulpit who say they love God but are going off Monday through, Monday through Wednesday with a woman and then Wednesday preaching in the pulpit. That, you know, they're going off with women and men that ain't their wives or husbands and then they're preaching in the pulpit, oh, I love Jesus. They're going to drop dead for lying against the Holy Ghost to do love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Why? Because God is not a liar. He said, do not be deceived. God is not my What a man sows, you will reap. If you reap sin, you'll reap death. If you sow sin, you'll reap death. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm preaching holiness because I believe it with 100% of my heart. We cannot have grace without holiness. We cannot have holiness without grace because it's through faith we are saved. By grace, through faith, not of ourselves, lest any man should boast. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. We got to have faith to have faith. We got to have holiness to have faith, where He gives us grace for grace and glory for glory. He takes us from grace to grace and glory to glory. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Will the true church please stand up? Thank you, Holy Ghost. All liars shall their place in the lake of fire, Revelation 21 and 8. People want to preach grace, but what about Ananias and Sapphira who lied to the Holy Ghost and dropped dead right there in the service? Acts 5, 8. Acts 5, 3 through 7. Thank you, Holy Ghost, do love you, Lord Jesus. God's word is never wrong. Isaiah 55 and 11, he says, My word will not return unto me void, but it will go out and do what I've sent it to do. Thank you, Holy Ghost, do love you, Lord Jesus. Psalms 119, I believe it is. He sent his word and healed them. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Jeremiah 1 and 12. He said, I am going to do what I have determined with my word. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. God is a man of his word. He's not a man that he should lie. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord. Amen. His word cannot lie, but God can reverse a decision over the life of somebody if they lie against him. Bless you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Or if they repent. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. His word is written on his own side. And is found in Revelation 19, 11, and he is called faithful and true. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Like I said, God cannot lie concerning his word, but he can reverse a decision. Bless you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. The Bible said everybody who worships him must worship him in spirit and in truth. For God is a spirit. Thank you, Jesus. And if God is a spirit of truth, and if everything the enemy does is a copycat against the Holy Ghost, then there, if there's a spirit of truth, there must be a lying spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus, with the spirit of truth. Thank you, Jesus. His word, God's word, the truth, can change everything. Just one word of truth can change a world of lies. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Turn with me now to the book. The book. of first kings 2:22 first kings 2:22 thank you holy ghost let me tell you something honey when god makes his mind up about you you better thank god that he gives you grace in this day and age thank you holy ghost do love you lord jesus amen pray for me y'all because when i 
get back to Georgia. I got a long drive ahead of me because I'm getting ready to go to some to a place to, to be with some wonderful people in the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. First Kings two twenty two. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And King Solomon answered. Wait, 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 wait. First Kings twenty two twenty two. I made a mistake there. I'm sorry. I've not had any sleep for ten days, and I finally got maybe four hours of sleep. Last night, so um, thank you, Holy Ghost, that I got a little bit of sleep last night. Thank you, Jesus. So if my words sound a little bit jumbled today, I'm sorry, because my mind's still trying to, my flesh is fighting my faith right now. I'm trying to preach at the same time, you know. But like, I, like, like I'm saying now, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. If God cannot lie and your faith is risen up in Him, that you believe him because faith is the evidence of things hoped for, the evidence of things are not seen. Bless your Holy Ghost and do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Then God can raise you up into a higher place in him than you've ever been before. Thank you, Holy Ghost and do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. If you will receive his word and believe, he said those who come to him must believe that he is and he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Thank you, Holy Ghost and do love you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. His word is written on his side and his word is faithful and true. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Revelation 19.11. Thank you, Lord. But 2 Kings 22.22. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. The Lord said to him, in what way? Wait a minute. Verse 21. Then a spirit came forward and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. Talking about how God was going to destroy. And the Lord said in verse 20, Who will persuade Ahab <coughs> to go up that he may fall at Ramoth, Gilead? So one spoke in this manner and another spoke in that manner. The angels were all discussing and a demon slipped into the conversation. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Then a spirit came forward and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said to him, What way? So he said, I will go and out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. Baal. The prophets of Baal. Of Ahab. And the Lord said, You shall persuade him and also prevail. Go and do so. Now, God is not a God of deception, but he will allow deception to an extent. I'll give another scripture of that in a minute. Bless the Holy Ghost and do love you, Lord Jesus. Why would God allow somebody to be deceived? Because, now let me explain this. Satan cannot cast out Satan, but let me explain this. God will allow the enemy to destroy himself. If he goes against his enemy with deception, the enemy will come to deceive the, his own self and he'll end up destroying himself. Like the Bible said, when they worshiped God, the enemy turned on themselves and destroyed themselves. God will allow the enemy to always destroy himself. Since Ahab was an enemy of God, God said, okay, I'm gonna send the enemy to destroy my enemy. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus, amen. How do you destroy an enemy from the inside of the camp, not from the outside? Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You heard of all, all these people, you know, when they get mad, they say, oh, you're just a Nimrod. Do you know that there was a king in the Bible named Nimrod? Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. And Nimrod city was destroyed from the inside out. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Nimrod's supposed to be moron. If you let the enemy into your camp and don't drive him out, you are a moron. You are a Nimrod. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Because God cannot lie. He watches over his word to perform it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. First Thessalonians. Oh, I didn't even get that scripture there. First Thessalonians. Help me, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Declares in the word of God. 
But when it comes the end of days, it says that a spirit would be released upon the whole earth. It said a great deception would be given. The enemy would bring great deception in the world. That those who did not believe the truth would believe a lie and be damned to hell would be a lie and be damned, that they may not believe the truth, but be damned. That a spirit of great deception would come upon the world, that they would believe a lie and be damned. They call good evil and evil good. They're trying to make God out to be a liar, which he can't be, baby. First Kings 22, 22 is what we just read. 1 Thessalonians, I cannot believe I did not write that scripture down. Wow. But Romans 1, see, I missed the mark too. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. I missed that one. Romans 1, 25 to 27. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. They have traded the truth for a lie. Romans 1, 25 to 27. Turn there with me really quick, if you will. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Ain't you so glad that God and the enemy have nothing in common? <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. I love what old Roberts said. God is a good God and the devil's a bad devil. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. There's nothing in common at all with the Lord and the enemy. Nothing. And I rebuke any preacher that says that um, uh, that um, otherwise. Any, anybody who preaches a different gospel, I rebuke any other gospel that is not no gospel at all. If it is not in the word of God, then honey, you have no right to preach it. And you have no right to believe it. If it ain't in the word of God for yourself, if you don't read it for yourself in the word of God, the true written word, unfallible, undeniable word of God, if you, can, if you can't find it in the word of God, then it ain't for you. It ain't for the church. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. That's why I'm against the Jehovah's Witnesses. They preach a lie. They preach another Jesus. They preach another Holy Ghost. They preach another gospel. I'm trying to clear my throat there. Excuse me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. But Romans 1. Romans 1, 25 to 27. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Who exchanged, uh, verse 24, therefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness and to lust of their hearts to dishonor their own bodies among themselves. This is lesbians and homosexuals right here. Therefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness and lust of their own hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves and dishonor their bodies among themselves who exchanged the truth of God, uh, the truth of God, for the lie, for the lie, and worship and serve the creator, the creation, rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Do love you, Lord Jesus. For this reason, God gave them up to vile passions for, for even their own, for their, for their women, for women and men for men. Exchanging that which is natural for the unnatural. Likewise, also men leaving their natural use of women burned in their own lust for one another, men with men and women with women. Committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error, their sin, they've missed the mark, which was due them. People say, well, what does that mean? It literally is a spirit of deception that has been sent out into the world to deceive them, to destroy them because they didn't want to follow the word. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. Somebody needs to hear that in the body of Christ. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord.
First Thessalonians spoke about this great deception. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Jesus Christ has brought us greater truth than anyone in the world. That's why so many people who ain't even Christians quote Jesus. Because why? Because the truth has been written in their hearts of men is without excuse. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Come on, somebody. Shout, thank you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus is the spirit of grace and truth, John 1, 17. I believe also in John 1, it said that he gives us grace for grace. But also in Romans, I believe it is, it says he gives us glory to glory. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. He gives us grace to grace and glory to glory. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. I think there's even another scripture yet that says that he takes us from faith to faith. Anything he wants to do, he wants to give you a double portion of it. That's because God's a good God and God does not lie. He said, I'll give you treasure out of outer darkness. Bless you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. Thank God that when we fall, we have an advocate with the Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. He, Jesus, is our spirit of truth. Thank you, Holy Ghost, to do love you, Lord Jesus. He gives us grace and he, he is full of grace and truth. And when we accept him, we receive that truth. And all that are the truth must hear his voice. He said, I was born into the world to bear witness to the truth. And all those who are of the truth must hear my voice. And he's... And, Pilate asked the most stupidest question, what is truth? He shouldn't have asked what is truth. He should have asked who is truth. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Ask not what God can do for you, but what you can do for God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Bless you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let me tell you something. Remember, Jesus said in Revelation, he said, you have tested those who called themselves apostles and you found them liars. You know why? Because Satan is the father of all liars. John 8, 44. And he was a deceiver and a liar from the beginning, the Bible says. My God, thank you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Who are you going to let lie to you to the point you deceive yourself right out of your own destiny? Don't let anybody lie to you to the point that you deceive yourself out of getting your own destiny. Live for Jesus, learn from Jesus, take of him, learn of him, for his burden is easy and his yoke is light. Thank you, Holy Ghost, and do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So I've basically, biblically proven that there is two types of spirit, the spirit of truth and the spirit of lies. The spirit of lies come from the enemy, the spirit of truth comes from God. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus, amen. Are you ready to walk in the way, the truth, and the life? Because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me, unless the spirit of truth reveals himself to you as God, then you cannot walk in God. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus, amen. Thank you, Lord. So now saying that, bless the Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus, I'm gonna give the altar call. Bless the Holy Ghost and do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Right now, if you want to pray this prayer with me, pray it in Jesus' name. Forgive me, Lord Jesus, of my sins. Forgive me for every life ever told. Lord, I repent of my sins and I put my life in you. Deliver me from myself and from my sins. I believe you died on the cross that God the Father raised you from the dead. Now fill me with your spirit of truth that I may make heaven my home in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost, and do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, you've just been born again. Thank you, Holy Ghost, and do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Your name has been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Now go find a good, a good God believing, a good God and Bible believing church. Thank you, Holy Ghost, and do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. After not sleeping for 10 days, my tongue is still a little bit, I'm still a little bit hazed out, but I'm preaching this message because the Holy Ghost has inspired this message 
and he told me to preach today. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Somebody needed to hear that God has not lied to you because God is going to raise that person back up from the problem that they've been in. God's going to raise them back up and heal them and deliver them by the power of his Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because God cannot lie. He watches over his word to perform it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, if you're sick in your body, I rebuke every sickness. I command it to loose you and let you go free. I bind every spirit of infirmity. I command it to go in Jesus' name. I cast you out, devil. Go in the name of Jesus. I break all the power of sickness and, and sin over your life. Sin that would have made you sick. Because Jesus prayed for several people and he said, go and sin no more. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. If there be any sick in the church among you, let the elder, let him ask for the elders of the church to come and pray for him, anoint him with oil. And if he commits any sin, they will be forgiven. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Save completely like another. They will heal their lives. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord, for the oil that don't spoil. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, if you're bound up in your mind, spirit, soul, or body, I rebuke every bondage. I rebuke every attack of the enemy. I command there be no withdrawals in Jesus' name and no backlash in Jesus' name. I command that there be no, um, no more desire to ever go back. No more cravings to ever go back to whatever you were bound into. In Jesus' name, I rebuke depression, oppression, and, and possession. In Jesus' name, I command it, go in Jesus' name. For he who sense it's free is free indeed. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I do love you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Now, if you have never been baptized in the Holy Ghost and fire, this is my favorite part. Jesus, you are the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and fire, and out of the belly will flow rivers of living water. Now, Jesus, do it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Do love you, Lord. Amen. Fire, 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 fire in the Holy Ghost. Oh, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. I am your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and it is always the hour for revival. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next meeting or in the air in heaven. I love you with all my heart. God bless you. I'll see you there in the air. God bless. Love you.